Hey guys, IRL Games here, and have you played Soko Frog? You may or may not have. I do see that on True Achievements, looking at less than 2,000 people. So not a lot of people have played this title. However, um, this was released April 10th, 2024, for a price of $4.99 and published by East Asia Soft. Now, if you are a retro gamer who enjoys Game Boy titles, um, retro music, using the D-pad, this is a game that you may be interested in checking out. Now, before you kind of dive in, want to know what the whole plot looks like, this is a puzzle game. So again, there's not really a plot line. I guess if you wanted to create a plot line, this is Soko the Frog and he's trying to get through a door. So <laughs> that kind of gives you the insight of what this looks like. As you play through the game, the worlds will get more challenging. There will be some different obstacles that you can worry about either accidentally dying or accidentally destroying boxes you need to move and this is a game where it does look like there's going to be updates possibly up to 5,000 gamer score for any of you xbox gamers but currently it's about half an hour to an hour and a half for um, the 2,000 gamer score just to give you some insight on what that looks like now, most gamers rate this at about 2.5 star rating. I would say this is definitely looking at three star rating. The controls are really smooth and I do prefer using the D-pad over the analog stick just because of um, being able to move through each square. And when you get further along, you do have to be a little bit more strategic how you move. Now, this game doesn't really need a walkthrough. However, I know there are some people that have posted walkthroughs if that's something you desire. Um, but again, not really needed. It just may take some trial and error. Storage size for this is very small, less than half a gig, um, which is really great for <laughs> us gamers who are having your storage capacities brought up to max. And uh, the good news as well is this is one of those titles that can be very great for remote play. Um, now, again, once you get a little bit further along, depending on wi-fi and cellular connection you may have some issues there um, but for the developer side or anybody who's looking to game on the go um, that's a really great fact just to have details on because again the storage size is very small so you can install that when you're away from home it doesn't take much time to download that and then on top of that you don't even have to worry about the controls necessarily being super smooth if you have a bad connection through remote play so that's just something to keep in mind i know most people aren't necessarily doing that but if you're anybody like myself who works full time this is a nice title to be able to pick up on a lunch break um, go ahead and play a few levels here and there and you'll eventually get that full completion um, and the nice thing is it, if there's updates in the future there's just more for you to do out of this game. So again, not anything too crazy to talk about in this game storyline um, or anything like that. This is going to be a game that you can certainly enjoy, um, but it's not going to have necessarily a memorable story that you'll remember for years to come outside of, oh yeah, I remember that one time we played a puzzle game with a little frog. Um, that might be about all you remember on that side. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this game review where I went ahead and broke down some of the details. Um, if you wanna see a full walkthrough, definitely let me know down below. And if I get enough requests, I may go ahead and make a full walkthrough and make walkthroughs for those future title updates just to keep it all in one place for you guys. Um, but outside of that, I am going to be doing some other um, videos here soon outside of just the typical game review side. I am thinking of doing maybe um, some story-based games where I kind of break down the story or even just kind of go over some funny bloopers and glitches not of necessarily this game because I didn't find any bloopers could be just if I failed if I wanted to but mainly some other games here for those bigger AAA titles where you know I'm looking to do the game review but outside of that I'm not necessarily looking to do like a full 100 plus hour completion walkthrough or anything like that so if you guys like this content definitely make sure to go ahead and like and subscribe if you want to support the channel in any other way you can check out my ebay 
um, channel or you can join the membership option down below but again the like and subscribe is definitely enough for the channel and i appreciate that a lot if there are any games that you want me to review definitely comment them down below i've been seeing some comments which i love and i just need to get around to actually seeing if i have those already owned or if that's something i need to purchase later on and with it being the month of october i might be looking to do some spooky content I am terrible at horror games, um, but you guys might get a good laugh out of it. So check that out on the channel here later this month. But I hope you guys enjoy this. As always, stay awesome, and I hope you have a fantastic week.